Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Panorama. Let's check out this model. Before we do, I just wanna give you a pan real quick. So this is a gated community up in Summerlin. It's really cloudy today. It actually snowed a little bit today. Just wanna pan around real quick so you can see everything. So these are gonna to be townhomes. The one we're touring today is the planned 403. It is two bedroom, two and a half bath, rear balcony. You have 1,860 square feet plus 400 square feet of, excuse me, 104 square feet of covered patio. This one is 332,990. Now make sure to hit the like button. It really, really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to subscribe. I put videos out literally every single day. But let's come on in here and always like I say in my videos if you're looking at new homes make sure to call a realtor if you go into the sales office you fill out information online the builder is not going to let you be represented so if you have questions about all that all my info is down in the description below this is pretty nice though so these are gonna be three stories the lot premiums range anywhere between like zero up to 35 ish depending on where they fall in the community like this one this is gonna be up there around 35 since you have strip views. This one has a two car tandem garage right there. And we have our coat closet. Now, with this builder, this is touchstone. Basically everything you see is included minus, you know, the furniture and all that stuff, but this is included flooring. They include the pavers, pretty nice. So on these back ones, you're gonna have just the fence. Decent size outdoor patio. Let's go ahead and head on upstairs. Let's start all the way at the top. Again, if you have questions about this video, any other video you've seen, any of my tours, please feel free to reach out to me. Give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. This is nice. But let's keep on going up. So this is the included carpet, included paint, everything, even the appliances. You get the fridge, you get everything like that. It's all included here. They even include internet here. So you get Gigabat, a blast with Cox. Your HOA is 185 a month. You know what? Let's start right here and we'll work our way around. I haven't even been in the unit yet. So first bedroom, you get the window. It's tight. I'll just, it, it's not bad size, it is smaller. That's a full size bed, two nightstands. Those are kind of cool night lights actually. But the room is probably 10 by 11, I'm guessing. You have standard two door closet slider. They do have room for a dresser, but it is a smaller secondary room. Coming out, we'll take a quick spin and come on into the second bedroom. Now, same size bedroom, full size bed, nice size window. You have your two nightstands and they went with like kind of a very tall skinny dresser. It actually makes sense in this room. Just because again, the room is a little bit tighter. Now with these, they actually don't have the light on in here. You will get a single can in the room. A lot of times they just give you like the J box, the pre wires so that you can put whatever light fixture you want. They put a can, but they put one. Right here we hit our upstairs bathroom. This is pretty nice for being standard. Just wanna check. So just standard bumpers. What you can always do is go to Lowe's, Home Depot, anywhere like that and get the um, soft closing hinges. But this is your standard countertops. It's kind of a cool faucet. They don't do the undermounted sinks here, they do the over. You have your toilet and you have your tub shower combo. Now this is a fiberglass composite. I actually heard someone reached out um, in the comments and said they actually prefer the fiberglass just because it's so much easier to clean, which is very true. There are no grout lines. So, you know, with tile, you have to clean the grout and that can become a pain. I do appreciate the fact that they give you all of that extra shelving on there. It's a pretty nice bathroom. 
we come out of the bathroom, we hit our master suite. And it's a decent sized room. I'm actually impressed. It's kind of funny that they put, it doesn't look like a queen size, but that may, may be a queen, but that looks more like a full. And it makes the room bigger, but there's room for a sitting area. Really, really pretty views. You could throw a dresser here or something to put a, like a TV up on. I like the little sitting area they have. Just so you can see, I don't know if it's too bright out right now because it just rained. It actually was snowing earlier today. You do have strip views. I don't know if they'll always be there, but it looks like they will be just off of what I'm seeing. And also this is the third story, but you are right next to a baseball park. It's a really nice size room. I'm really impressed with this master suite. Let's see the bathroom though. So coming into the bathroom, again, same cabinets, whatever you choose in the kitchen, they're gonna give you the same in all the bathrooms. I believe they have like two colors. You can either do white or gray, and then they have like two different countertops that you can choose from. So these are only gonna be single sink. You have your toilet, tub shower combo, this is a little bit wider. You have your shower head way up there, which is nice that it's so high up. I feel like there needs to be another light in here though, because we do only have the vanity light. There's not an overhead light because it feels dark in there, especially if you were to put like a full uh, curtain, it, it needs a light. Right here we have our closet. This is kind of smart that they did the slider into the pocket. And this is actually, a mirror right here, which is kind of cool. A lot of times they charge you a lot of money for those mirrors. Once we get into the closet, it's not a bad size closet. It just, it needs more shelving and more bars. I feel like they could have done a much better job. What you can always do is raise the bar to shelf up. I would even put something like right here, like some more shelving or something because it feels like a good size closet. It just feels like they didn't use the space to the best ability. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Love reading your comments. Let's head on, before we head downstairs, I think the laundry is right here. So laundry, it's really nice that it is up on the third floor with all the bedrooms. You don't have to lug the laundry up and downstairs. And I was told by the sales associate that all of this is included, which is kind of insane because they don't include washers and dryers in most builders. Again, let me know what you think about this. Let's check out the second floor, the main living space. And also, again, do me that huge, huge favor and hit the like button. So right here we have our powder room. It's kind of nice that it's way over here by the stairs. It's kind of tucked away, away from the kitchen. So standard size powder room. They do give you a window. And the views from even the bathroom are nice. I I like it. It's cozy, it's homey. They do give you a pre-wire cap right there in the ceiling for a ceiling fan or whatever sort of light fixture you'd like to use. This is a big living space. Again, the home is only, what, 1,860 square feet. It's not tiny by any means. So this patio is included. This is pretty cool. I would love to be up here in the morning, drinking coffee, just watching outside. It's really, really pretty out today. Again, it was snowing like an hour ago, which was insane. Huge. I'm gonna call it a great room, but multi-purpose room. I love how big this sitting area, like the living space is, cause you have a huge TV up on the wall. That's at least a 65 inch TV, it's fake but it shows you that you could really fit a large TV. If we come across, we have our dining space. Again, this doesn't feel too crowded. Maybe just a smaller mm, cabinet over there or maybe cheat the table just a bit. This table fits the area really nice. It's a six person table. There's a lot of space. I'm actually really, really impressed with this space that they've used. And we have our kitchen. So again, 
everything you see is included everything you see is standard if i'm really being picky i wish they had doubled up on the pantry it just feels too small i would have liked to seen either like a full-size one where you have the double or built-in or something just because that's not a lot of storage space let me know what you think about it they even give you black stainless appliances which is awesome let me see if i can turn the light on here so Again, standard cabinets, standard appliances. I mean, these appliances are really nice. I actually want to get the black uh, stainless in my house. It also helps uh, with fingerprints. It doesn't show them as much as the actual stainless. I like this stone. I, I'm liking this. Here is your view from the sink. It's actually pretty nice. I can see the mountains. I can only imagine having those doors open on a nice day, just enjoying life. So they're only giving you the 36 inch uppers. They're not the 42 inch uppers, they're the smaller ones. You do get a five burner cooktop with your oven. You have your microwave and I always like to check and see. So this is gonna recirculate into the house. It's not gonna vent outside. I know a lot of people always like to ask questions about that. There's a pretty good amount of counter space in here. You have your window. You have some more cabinetry up above, black stainless steel fridge included, which is again insane. Let me know what you think about it. Do you like three stories? Would you go for a townhouse? Do you want to be detached? Let me know what you think about this one. Again, if you have any questions about any of the videos you've seen, whether it's this one, a different one, any parts of town, whether you want to see a new home resale, please feel free to reach out to me. Give me a call. All of my info is down in the description below. I'd love to hear from you. I'm impressed even you could fit easily another bar stool right there. It's nice. Again, make sure to hit the like button. It really does help out with the channel. The channel has been growing. Thank you to everyone commenting, reaching out, asking questions. If you have ideas on how to make the channel better, definitely drop them down below. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.